Hi there, Jamie from Zero G here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our contact instrument biorhythms, starting with a run through of the interface and then demonstrating some sounds. Biorhythms is a loop based tempo synced beat machine made for contact that offers a 16 channel interface and features over 2,300 loops packed into 144 different patterns of varying style and genre. Biorhythms come with native instruments NKS compatibility, meaning owners of any native instruments hardware can control the plugin directly from their complete control keyboards or machine groove boxes. Along with this, Biorhythms features a control template for the Novation Launchpad Mini and Launchpad X, meaning users can also play the plugin directly from these machines. Let's take a look at the interface. Biorhythms comes with 13 mixed template snapshots, which cover different styles, feels, and tempos of the drum loops. Let's hear some of them. At the top of the interface, you can find two drop down menus. The first of these lets you choose a bank, which can also be selected using the red key switches here. And then within each of these banks, you can choose from 12 different variations per bank, which can also be selected using the blue key switches. Moving on to the strip along the top. This is where you can switch between all the effects that can be applied to the loops, and I'll demonstrate these in a moment. But primarily, this is a settings tab which acts as a control center for the loops. The wave display will show you the pattern of whichever channel you have selected down here and the 16 channels generally follow an assignment of these instruments displayed on the screen now. So currently I have channel 4 selected, which is the closed hi-hats, and you can see the hi-hat pattern displayed here. Biorhythms can be run in two different modes, Beat Machine and Time Machine. By default, Beat Machine mode is active and allows you to adjust the attack and release of the crossfade between each individual slice. Enabling Time Machine can be done using this button, and it essentially gives you the option to stretch and formant shift the loops using these envelope order and formant controls. But be aware that time machine mode uses twice as much CPU compared to beat machine mode. The read button, when enabled, allows you to visually see the value changes you make to any parameter. The preset button chooses whether to enable or disable the mix presets, which relate to the parameters in the bottom half of the interface. Otherwise, you can use the reset mix button here to start from scratch and build your own mix, which is a fun process using biorhythms. I'll show you that now.
The user button switches between factory and user modes for variations. By default, all sounds in a variation are pre-selected, but by enabling user mode, you can choose any sound of your liking for each channel. With user mode enabled, you can click the random variation button to randomize all sounds whilst keeping the pattern the same. And with the random speed button, this will randomize the speed parameter for all channels, which can create some crazy and unusual patterns. Link allows you to use biorhythms in master mode by linking all the channels, so any parameter changes you make to one channel will apply to all of them. And the latch button is useful if you don't want to hold down a key whilst changing parameters and settings, as it will hold down the key for you once enabled. Finally, in the mix area here, you can change the volume, panning, tune, speed, as well as reverb and delay sends for each of the 16 channels. Now to end the video, I'm going to hit the reset mix button and spend some time building my own mix in biorhythms from scratch using everything I've just shown you.